The Choral Warm-Up Collection has been such a source of pride for Alfred Music over the years because not only does it have 167 amazing warm-ups that lots of us use on a daily basis, but the 51 choral directors who contributed to this book, in lieu of receiving royalty, they donate those royalties to ACDA for scholarships and to support the foundation. I can say very proudly that to date, Alfred and these writers have donated over a quarter million dollars to uh, the good of music education. How incredible. Thank you, writers, and Sally K. Albrecht, who compiled and edited this book. Let's take a look here. You might know some of these people's names. Those are all the contributors. And here I am on the contents page to show you that We've really organized it very well by whatever you want to be teaching, skills you want to be developing. They're all here on the contents page. You can look up by number all of these different topics, 167, including a whole chapter of rounds at the end of the book. Now, I want to share with you some of my favorites from this book. Moving ahead, here is the editor, Sally Albrecht, and some of her breathing exercises for the beginning of a rehearsal. This is a great way to set the tone for a rehearsal, get everybody working together on their breath. I always think of expanding the rib cage and down near the diaphragm. Some rhythm to do here. Ready? We've had great fun with that one over the years. Look at this B one, where she has you doing a similar idea, but singing the scale. Whole, half, half, quarter, quarter, eighth note, eighth note, eighth note, eighth note, triple, 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 sixteenth note, and sixteenth note, and sixteenth note, and sixteenth note, and done. That one is really fun, Sally. Thank you for that. You know, warm-ups are a great time to set the tone for your rehearsal, get everybody's brain working as well as their voices working. But I don't always want it to be hard work. Sometimes we just want it to be fun. And this collection has some of the most fun ones I've ever discovered. Look at number 56 here by Jean Perry. She gives us some, war some chord progression. So we can accompany it if we want. Super bubble gum. Super duper bubble gum. Super duper double bubble. Super duper double bubble. Super duper double bubble gum. <laughs> that one is so fun, Gene. Here's some Rick Wymouth exercises. Mellow yellow, mellow yellow blue. The next one. Red letter, yellow leather, red letter, yellow leather, red letter, yellow leather, blue. Make sure you make the difference between the letter and leather as you're singing that one. Trickier than it looks. Here's one that I did on, here's number 63. 99 nuns in turning in an Indian, oh, sorry, that wasn't right. 99 nuns in turning in an Indiana nunnery. I really like this one where it uses the N, which really helps get the voice and the resonators a little bit, as well as the diction. 99 nuns in turning in an Indiana nunnery. That resonance, of course, gives you, takes away some of the breathiness for young singers. Let's do one more, number 66. This is a palindrome. A palindrome means the phrase is spelled exactly the same way, whether you go forward or back. And the words are sit on a potato pan, Otis. Look here if we go backwards. S I T on a potato pan, Otis. Yeah, it works. <laughs> sit on a potato pan, Otis. Sit on a potato pan, Otis. Sit on a to potato pan. And then we go up by key. Sit on a potato pan, Otis. Sit on a potato pan, Otis. Sit on a potato pan. The Coral Warm-Up Collection.